So I just want to show you how you can create slices of different uh, file formats and file sizes from artboards, layers, groups and objects in your design. And you do this using the slices panel in Export Persona. As an example, I'm going to use these uh, icons to create slices from and to create separate graphics simultaneously into different file formats and potentially file sizes. So from Export Persona, in Export Persona you'll see this long slice here and this is drawn with the slice tool and these other icons, the square ones, are drawn from the layers panel. By selecting them it's the same layers that you have in your uh, main view of your document and cr clicking create slice. So I'll jump into the slices panel and I'll expand this out. Now you can see exactly what we're exporting. Now for slice one, I don't want to export this. This is this long slice. I just want to export these icons. You can see that they're all checked, ready to export with the check mark down there. And this one doesn't have it. Now if I just go into orders, just expand that one. At the moment, because the default on your right is set to PNG 24 bit, it's been adopted by all of these versions here on the slices. Now I can change that. I can make uh, the PNG go out as Retina. So that's a 2x and potentially 3x. Now this is called the export format. this area here, and this wider area, the lighter area, is called the export setup. Now I can change the export setup to include a different file format. And I can do that by clicking here. And I could have JPEG best quality as, say, I'll keep that as 1x. We'll go with the 2x as well. So this export setup here can be copied and it can be applied to say downloads and you can see the exact representation applies down here. I'll just close these up. There's another way of uh, making graphics go out just as 1x and, and 2x retina and that's by selection and choosing an export preset here and I can choose retina PNG. And remember they were all just set as 1x. Now if I expand orders, you'll see it's set to 1x and 2x because I've adopted the export presets. You'll also see in there a whole series of uh, Apple-specific export options, which I won't go into, but um, you can choose uh, application icon uh, 32 pixel uh, as retina versions, which is a popular one for for macOS uh, development. And there's also options there for, for iOS application icons, etc. And it, you can choose a preset here and it will adopt them in the same uh, manner and principle. So to create these slices themselves, we've chosen all of them and we want 1x and 2x versions, uh, PNGs. I want to choose export slices 12. and then export those slices as files. The advantage of continuous export means that you don't have to keep on exporting files every time you change it. Uh, once that check button's in place, any edit you make will constantly update and export as you go. Now, this is great for sharing your work in real time with other perhaps games developers or app developers who really need that information quickly and efficiently.